wake up and about on the 17th. Right. This is the, uh, the lounge. We walk out backwards through into the kitchen. <laughs> and here we are in the kitchen now. Bit of a mess, the dearly old thing. Bit of a mess there. Still, never mind. And we go out through the back porch. Funny, pokey little place the back porch is. We'll uh, walk out, out outside. There's the barn opposite. <coughs> it's a nice frosty morning. A uh, sort of watery sun. Yes, shining up. And we walk out and over the field there, it might be able to hear Andrew climbing over the gate. He's been out taking a few shots. We've just been out, as I say, rescuing a sheep. Is Andrew behind the hedge here, we ask? Where is he? Where is he? Ah, yes. What do we see hidden away? Do we see hidden away? There is Andrew. There's his camera. Are you waving to the camera then, Andrew? What's that? <coughs> I'm taking a camcorder of you. Oh, right. I'll take a show of you then. <laughs> Now the shot that Andrew was taking was across the valley. Down to Langaito. Here we are with the barn. Looking across to the actual father first, so. Of the old oak tree. The world is a cool, hot place, but beautiful as well. But here we're looking back. Thank you. And there's our view. And we look across. Over towards Margaret. Right across the fields. So across these fields that we laid the water there. drive down to the farm. And we walk back over the stream. And we walk up the drive. We walk down to the up the drive. Bit, bit mucky this morning.
Hello, Poppy. Hello then, Poppy Dougie. There's a good girl. Around the corner. We walk up. Take no notice of that chap over there taking photographs again. It was beautifully quiet and the birds were singing a few minutes ago. All you can hear now is the turkeys. And we walk around the bend. Ah, there we are. We used to walk around here, this is the way in because the pub door always was jammed straight into the sun from our little sun patch in here. There we are, where we used to sit out in the sun. Alright, and we're on that, we're back inside again. And what have we got? Caroline! And I can hear Joe in the background. Where is he? Come on. Come watch your mummy in the kitchen. <laughs> Going onto the table, he is. Right. Good for you, yeah. Joe. What's going on? Let's see what's going on. Morning, Joseph. <coughs> oh dear. He's very tired. How oh, tired are you? Oh. <coughs> Don't you go. It's all scared, Mr. Face. <coughs> What's your granddad doing, hey? Oh, yeah. What's your granddad doing? <coughs> it's all right, darling. Let's go and just have some breakfast. Don't do me a little bit. I am, I'm doing you. Oops. Too late. That's it. Is anybody else want some toast? Uh, Hello, Getting life as it is? Yes, life as it is, that's true. And that's I suppose we're, all right for. That's right, <laughs> we're lucky to have yes, a dust cart coming. <laughs> that's it, it's on a Wednesday, is it? Video. You can actually put them straight onto the television. So, without oh, yeah. the so when, when our daughter comes down... Uh,
your granddad. He's filling him up with his Take a shot of the. Uh... Can you hear George's turkeys? Yes, I can hear George's turkeys. You can see Blancombe just on the hill there. The dogs are in it again. Sorry. And you go down the drive. And there it is. A little drive down. We go up the hill here. That's it. We're just saying how the dog gets excited around here because we think the must. Well, I've seen a fox around here anyway. Very much. Yeah. Now we're going to get a lot of wind roar, I'm afraid. Oh, you haven't got it. Haven't you got no gloves to put round it? Look, I said, no, we put it around that, don't we? Yeah, anyway. put it right a handkerchief round it. Oh, I've got my gloves over it, Anne. You won't do any sound on it, will you? No, is that right? <laughs> right. And we look across the field. Okay. Yes, I'm picking you up. I'm just thinking, I suppose, really. One of our favourite horses. Yes. Over the hill to Margaret, I don't think yes. we'll get the tattoo to come back to the hill. Can so you just pick out Blanco with the snow coming up? Oh, you see it, aren't they? The hands are all gems here with the corner so switch on. This one, and this is one of our nicest views of Blanco, if you can just about pick it out with the snow coming up. It's really there in the middle of a very lovely countryside, although it's a bit misty today. Margaret sheep are up here, they're walking up here. If you go to your right, Roger, you'll see the sheep. All having a look at us. And then we look over the hill towards the Cambrian Mountains and Mid Wales. And, and uh, what's the name of that very faint? Wait a minute, let's go up towards. Stop, Rod, stop. All right, I'm now, yes. We're now looking towards the um, Tregaran Hills, really, and towards the Abergwissen Road, one of the roads we could come along. We're up on Margaret's top field up here, looking down towards Margaret's. So there's a, is that a seagull? Lots of seagulls up here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> now looking down towards Margaret's farm, it's thanks to Margaret we're here at all because she found us Blanco. We'll always be grateful for that. We had such good years. The hills are still in the background and those used to be an enormous forestry woods behind, but they've now cut most of them down. My God, it's cold up here. <laughs> it is in all. The wind's blowing something awful. My hands are freezing. <laughs> I Where is she? I haven't got my hat on. I'm trying, I'm trying to get you in. Where are you? I'm holding my, my hat on. Ah, now we can see the pair of us in the shadow. <laughs> there we are. There's Mike. Look at the sheep running down there, Rod. See the sheep running? Hey. Are you screaming, Alan? Alan. All right, we'll go to the bins and get that.